today I'm making a video on uh, clothing so uh, just to uh, let you know why I'm doing it uh, we got a new cover inside our hunk hunting pack and uh, this is uh, Benjamin and Benjamin is from Germany so you know I'm from Canada Benjamin is from Germany and uh, we got two guys uh, Steve and Tommy are from Texas Jeremy is from Texas also so these are our host okay guys so when you're going to travel itself, there's going to be two types of uh, baggage that you're going to have. You're going to have your carry-on, which is going to be the, the one that you're going to possess with you when you're going to board the plane. And you're going to have your regular luggage. So, uh, laws and regulation do change often in transportation. So, this is why I'm recommending you to always uh, go on the transportation website. And uh, mainly itself, when you're inside international uh, airports, Laws and regulation about firearms are very strict, but in the same time, they're very wide open. So, um, this is why when you're going to cross the border itself, um, for the United States, get yourself a book, and everything that you're going to have inside is, you're getting your hunting tags here, okay, you're getting your flight, and after that, I got my 6 and I 8 Okay, 6 IA is basically the form itself indicating uh, it's provided by ATF, by the way. So, and the 6 IA uh, has to be filled out three months ahead, you know, before you're taking your flight and you must submit it to uh, ATF uh, and they're going to approve you, yes or no, if you're allowed it. Uh, please do note that Chinese uh, weapons itself that have been produced in China, like Norinco, or uh, there's a ban on those weapons itself in the United States. So Bill Clinton, uh, I think, said it was in uh, 19. Uh, it was maybe it was during the Bill Clinton area itself that uh, they did a uh, weapon ban. So the six NIA form you're going to need it itself. It's going to tell you exactly, you know, how much ammo you got and what type of weapon that you got itself and. Uh, if it's going to be restricted, non-restricted, and they're going to ask you also your license, your possessions, and your ownings. So I'm always also having including my insurance paper inside of it, and I'm including also all my documentation here for uh, all, all the documentation itself uh, concerning insurance and stuff like that. So inside that book, I got everything that I, I'm owning. Plus, I got all the confirmation and that documentation itself when I did transfer, you know, back the information. So, definitively, this should be always on you with the carry-on itself. So, the carry-on is basically, you know, I got a field line tactical that I got there, and that's my carry-on. Inside this, I'm going to have a redundancy itself, emergency shelter system, because uh, if they are losing one of the bags here, well, actually, you know, I got a little bit of here and there, you know, I got different stuff inside of it. So, uh, uh, food, water, and shelter itself, definitively, I've got it here, so I'm not compromising my trip. After that, uh, the weapon case itself, I'm suggesting you like a Boyd, like this one. This one costs about uh, $135 itself. Um, the, 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 the cabin crew members itself are quite rough, you know, when they're boarding the stuff. So, for your weapons, I'm suggesting you that you have a hard case. And you cut down, you know, the, with wire cutter, all the foam and everything, so you got a snug fit of your weapon system inside of it. After that, the ammo, ammo are going to go inside uh, th this trussle bag, this, uh, this duffel bag here. Um, for Canada, uh, it's uh, 11 pounds or 5 kilos of ammo maximum. So, and it has to be locked also, and it has to be in a different bag then it cannot be, you know, the weapons and the ammo must be separate. So there's no, there's no intercommunication between both of them. So you have to be careful with it. Uh, for this, this is going to be all my, my day pack is going to be there. I'm going to have all my clothing. I'm going to do a spread, spread out of this. And after that, I got my two containers itself, which is going to store basically all the camera gears, the tent, the, uh, the foams, after that, I'm going to have my cooking set inside of it, and I'm going to have also my LBE system. So, basically, you know, and I'm going to have also communication system inside of it. So, communication system, I like to have it, you know, in both cases, you know, some here and some there, because if they're losing at least one bag, well, you know, you're not compromised totally with communication. So, 
this is why uh, it's a nice to have. Uh, by the way, they did lost my weapon case the last time, so in between, uh, when you're going to reach the border itself, allow yourself, because I'm coming from Quebec City to Toronto, Toronto after that I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm taking back all my, my gear itself and I'm crossing the border there, and that's when you're going to need the 6 and I uh, form itself to be able, you know, to border patrol. Uh, the Border Patrol officers itself, they're going to take a look at their weapons itself and they basically will uh, take the serial numbers and everything out of it. They're going to put it in the system itself. What you're allowed it to go in and once you're going to get back it's going to be exactly the same thing but there's going to be on Canadian side. So uh, have yourself, don't, don't think that you're going to have a short travel uh, in between uh, the layovers itself. Allow yourself when you're going to present yourself at the border patrol to have at least an hour and a half in between two flights. If not, uh, it's going to do like uh, last year, you know, when I was there. Uh, they had to retrieve all the method, they had to retrieve all the baggage and everything. They had to scan it differently. And after that, I went to the border patrol, and eventually, uh, I was too short in the interconnection flights, and they lost my baggage. They, basically, they lost my my rifle. <laughs> so. So I was a little bit pissed. I only have been able to get back those those uh, those items itself two flights after. So basically, you know, we lost one day. Um, so I was not a happy camper. I can tell you uh, with Air Canada. So um, if I can give you a good tip, have a good flight uh, flight layover time in between. You know, the time that you're going to present yourself and the the boarding flight that you're going to take for crossing the border right after. Um, so we're going to do a spreadsheet on the, how I'm packing down my gear and everything, what I got inside of it. And basically you're going to be able, you know, to, to see everything that I got. All right, thanks.